What's going on guys, Juice Messi here and welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to a daily dose of transfer gossip. And today is the Thursday, the 3rd of January, and as we always do, got confirmed it was to go through and the potential rumors. So just before we get started, if you enjoy the video and enjoy transfers, make sure to show your support by leaving a like rating. That'd be absolutely awesome, greatly appreciated. If you're new to my channel, press that subscribe button for more and press the notifications tab next to it so you never miss a video. Current schedule every day at 8am is a brand new transfer video, so keep an eye out for that. And if you missed yesterday's video, it'll be down below in the description box. And today's question of the day for the comment section below, what team do you support? Right, let's start with the very first one today, and it's going to be a rumor according to reports in France. They said Nantes and Cardiff City have a £20 million agreement over the transfer of Emiliano Salah. However, the player does not want to acknowledge the existence of the offer whatsoever, and he's not really interested in the move. And Cardiff are trying to sign a goal scorer this January because being in a relegation scrap, it is as many goals as possible, and so far in Ligue 1, he has got 12 goals already. And the article does suggest the player himself doesn't want to make the move just yet, um, but the main guy behind the whole transfer to like kind of force a move is their owner. Next up though, according to various different sources, uh, they sent Chelsea and English striker Tammy Abraham, who's currently on Aston Villa in the Championship, were asked to activate a recall option to pursue a low move to a Premier League side for the second half of the season. However, according to the Aston Villa manager, that's not the case. He doesn't want to be recalled and is currently happy to stay at Aston Villa until the loan does run out. The Daily Mail, SN Wolves are leading the race to sign Tammy Abraham, who scored 16 goals so far in the championship. And next up, according to Ojogo, the SN Liverpool's Rafa Camacho is set to join a sporting in Portugal on loan until the end of next season. So I'm not sure if that's a six month loan deal or 18 months because I'm not sure how they've written it. Um, but either way, there's an option to buy there permanently in the summer for £13.5 million or €15 million. Euros. This next one's actually pretty cool for FIFA Ultra Team purposes if it does go through, because if you play foot right now, you know a player on the game, a right back that has had three informs already, that is going to be Kenny Lala. He plays in league guard, has fantastic stats across the board, and now today, according to L'Equipe, or France Football, should I say, he's into Newcastle. But yeah, France Football are saying Newcastle have got their eye on league on this month at the January transfer window regarding potential defensive reinforcements. The two players they have made inquiries about so far are going to be Kenny Lala uh, from Strasbourg and also Valentin Rossier from Dijon. So for ultimate team, if he wants to make a move to Newcastle, um, uh, what's his base rating right now? Uh, a quick look. I think it's like 76. Yeah, 76 rated. So his ones to watch would be that rating. But if he has to get an inform, a fourth inform, it jumped from 76 to like 87. This next one is a corner to the Daily Mirror, and they are sent Inter Milan are considering a move for Manchester United fullback Ashley Young. But that's because it will be a free transfer when his contract expires this summer. So, from one player potentially leaving Manchester United, we go over to their rivals Man City, and a potential huge transfer to come off if it does happen. So, according to Manchester Evening News, they said Manchester City will have to bid over £70 million if they want to sign Leon's midfielder and Dombele in the January transfer window. Reports suggested they had a bid rejected a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's actually quite far off for £70 million. Uh, previously, I think back in the summer, Tottenham wanted him. Sky Sports do suggest there's a lot of interest there from massive European teams uh, such as Manchester City, Manchester United, Barcelona and many others. And if you have seen it so far this season, whether it's in League 1 or in particular the Champions League so far, um, let's face it, you can understand why there's so many teams interested because he's got so much potential and already has so much ability. And now we move on to one according to L'Equipe and they said Chelsea midfielder Cesc Fabregas' move to Monaco will be completed next week. The player has agreed a two and a half year contract with the club and is said to receive more than a 10 million euro bonus as a signing on fee. There were reports suggesting it's very close to going to AC Milan, um, even move potentially to MLS or CSL. But Monaco looks like they've won the race to get him. They haven't mentioned any kind of fee just yet. I imagine it won't be too much, but instead, again, he'll get a massive signing on bonus. And he will be reunited, this time as a manager, not a player, um, with Thierry Henry. And Fabregas isn't the only player Monaco looking to sign this January because, of course, they're a massive relegation scrap and if they were to go down, it would be horrendous for them. And according to L'Equipe again, they said Monaco looking to sign an experienced central defender this January and have set up their chase for Mamadou Sacco from Crystal Palace. The other alternatives were going to Gary Cahill from Chelsea, um, but he decided not to make the move to Monaco instead, could be going to Fulham or Arsenal. And Pepe, who's a free agent after leaving Bishiktas, he's 35, 
Instead, he wants his next move to be in Portugal for family reasons. And Monaco are willing to pay Paris a hefty fee to sign him in order to land the former Paris Saint-Germain captain. And to be fair, I think Paris paid like close to 30 mil for Mamadou Sakho in the first place. So 25 mil, 20 mil, it could be around that region. Now we have got a player who can officially talk to different teams regarding a free transfer this summer. That's going to be Arsenal's Aaron Ramsey. And Juventus, obviously they're the kings of getting free transfers in. And most recently, I believe in the summer is Emery Chan. Um, but their director of football, Fabio uh, Paritzi, Paritzi, I've probably said that wrong, so apologies. But he has said, yes, we are interested in Aaron Ramsey. He's a great midfielder, but at the moment he's an Arsenal player. We'll see. And it was over in yesterday's episode or the day before where I spoke about an article from Sky Sports saying that so far um, there's lots of Paris Saint-Germain, Bayern, Real Madrid, who are the other ones? I think Juve are on there as well. So many teams are interested in Aaron Ramsey, he has got a lot of different options. And now we have got a massive confirmed transfer, it's all official, and it's about the American wonder kid Christian Pulisic. He has now officially joined Chelsea from Borussia Dortmund at a fee of 64 million euros or 57.6 million pounds. He will be joining in January though, however, he will be going straight back to Borussia Dortmund until the end of this current campaign. And I have seen many different opinions on this transfer, specifically the transfer fee itself. Um, it's understandable why it's 64 million euros, but basically people are saying they've overpaid. Now, yes, there's only 18 months left of his current contract at Dortmund until 2020, which takes his valuation down a lot. And a lot of people, again, are saying his progress on the pitch may have slowed down due to Jadon Sancho. He's not currently getting the Borussia Dortmund starting 11. So is he worth 60 plus mil? We'll have to wait and see. But there is a massive however, because for Chelsea, the marketing they can get from Christian Pulisic um, from an American audience, and also top that sponsorships, I think it's worth it in the long run. You'd imagine there'll be a lot of different American viewers that weren't really interested in Chelsea before, but now they're like, again, their wonder kid, their star player is playing for them. They might start watching them and taking notice. That then brings in more and more revenue again from sponsorships, from shirt sales, which I imagine will be a lot of, by the way. Um, and he's also very young. He's got age on his side, has got so much potential about him still, just got to show it now on the pitch. He does become Chelsea's third most expensive transfer in the history, just behind Kepa, um, his number one from the summer, and the second place, I believe, is Alvaro Morata. And overall, it's good for all parties involved, for Chelsea, for Borussia Dortmund, and for the player. And now we have quite a strange one for Arsenal. And the reason for that is because back in the summer, um, they brought in a Bernd Leno from Bayer Leverkusen. And he was a number one goalkeeper. At the very start, he wasn't because Petr Cech played the first couple of games. But now, according to Sport, they're saying Kelo Navas has already told his teammates goodbye. He'll leave Real Madrid this month, and Arsenal set to sign him for 16 million euros. Now, it doesn't surprise me that Navas is looking to leave Real Madrid because he's the backup there now um, to Courtois. So he wants more first team football again. And at Arsenal, does that mean he'll be a backup there, or will he take over Bern Leno's position as number one? And now we have a bit of an update regarding Dom Solanke of Liverpool and uh, two different stories. And the very first one is that Crystal Palace is still hopeful of signing the striker on loan with German club Schalke denying any interest in the England Under-21 international. But then BBC are now saying the proposed move to Crystal Palace on loan uh, could be off because of concerns over his fitness. He's not ready to start games straight away, which they really need. Next up, according to Sky Sports, they're saying Southampton have put striker Gabby Adini up for sale and AC Milan are among a number of interested Italian clubs. On the last page, AS Monaco well into a move to Cesc Fabregas and also Mamadou Sacco. And since recording that very first part of the commentary now, the link to Naldo from Schalke. So the first part does say Monaco have agreed contract terms already with a 36-year-old central defender, uh, being Naldo, who's now negotiating a mutual termination agreement with Schalke to cut his contract early. Reports in France are suggesting that Naldo is undergoing a medical already with Monaco, and the transfer, if it does go through, it should happen at some point this week. If they are successful with his contract termination, um, it'll be a free transfer. But RMC, they're saying Naldo is set to move to Monaco on loan into the end of the season with a fee of around 1 million euros. And because this transfer for Naldo does mean the Mamadou Sacco transfer on the previous page, uh, they won't be pursuing that. The final player on the page is going to a central defender called Magallon, or Magallon, I'm not sure how you say his name, but he has joined Ajax from Boca Juniors for a fee of around 9 million euros. Sky in Germany are saying despite recent rumours, Bayern Munich midfielder James Rodriguez will not be leaving the club this winter. The Colombia International is currently on loan at Bayern uh, from Real Madrid and has interest there from Serie A giant Juventus. 
The Bundesliga club have an option to buy Rodriguez for 42 million euros and must make a decision by June 15th. But that guys is going to be it for this video. So as always, if you enjoyed it and enjoyed transfers, make sure to show your support by leaving a like rating. That'd be absolutely awesome and greatly appreciated. If you're new to my channel, press that subscribe button for more and press the bell notifications next to it so never miss a video. Current schedule every day at 8am UK time is a brand new transfer video. And yes, this video will be down below in the description box. And finally, in the comment section below, what football team do you support? Let me know down below. So thank you for watching this video, I'll see you next time.